Welcome to Spoken Reviews. Today we're going to have a quick comparison between the 2015 MacBook Air and the brand new 2015 Surface Pro 4. Now as far as thinness goes, these are both going to be super thin products. Um, without the cover, I do believe that the Surface might be a little thinner, but whenever you do add the uh, cover, then you can see that the MacBook Air is going to be a thinner product. So if that's a concern for you as far as thickness, the MacBook Air is going to win that one. Now, as far as ports go, both of these, these devices are going to be very competitive. As you can see on the Surface Pro 4, uh, first we're going to have the mini Display Connect port right here. Then we're going to have the USB 3.0 port. Then we're going to have, this is going to be the power slot right here. Underneath here, as you guys can see, here's the uh, slot for the micro SD. So you can always expand the memory right there. On the back, we're going to have the camera, and the microphones, and here is going to be the uh, slot for the headphone jack. So, pretty good ports and connectivity on the surface. Uh, but when we look at the uh, Apple, on this side, you're going to see the power port, USB 3.0, headphone jack, here are the microphones that are built in. And on the other side, you're going to see the Thunderbolt port, the second USB 3.0 port. So that's an advantage right there. And then this is the slot for the SD expansion. And then on the Apple, like most laptops, of course, the camera's going to be right up top. So they're both pretty competitive. The big difference, I would say, is you're going to get the extra port with the uh, MacBook. So if that's a, that's a factor for you guys. MacBook's going to win on this one. Now, when comparing screens, the MacBook Air is going to have a 13.3 inch screen, while the Surface Pro 4 is going to have a 12.3 inch screen. So, if screen size is a big factor for you guys. The MacBook Air is going to win that one out. Now, when we talk about screen resolution, the MacBook Air is only going to have a 1440 by 900 resolution. So, it's not the best, but it's still pretty good. And I've noticed over using it over two weeks, it seems pretty good. Uh, but on the other hand, the Surface Pro 4 is going to have a 2736 by 1824. So if resolution is a big factor for you guys, the Surface Pro 4 is going to win that one out. Now as far as keyboard, you're going to be comparing a traditional laptop keyboard, which has the extra space on it for your hands, which is pretty comfortable, versus a type cover, which is kind of a different experience. So I would point out, as you guys can see, there's a difference right here in space, and that does make a difference. Um, I do enjoy typing on the MacBook. Um, I didn't realize how nice Apple's were until I got the MacBook. And one thing that sounds weird is there's not a lot of give in it. So whenever you type on a lot of Windows PCs, then the, just kind of the build, it kind of gives and that kind of bothers me. Um, also, there are a lot of cool, cool things you can do with the uh, touchpad, uh, pulling stuff up. So um, it's pretty cool on that. I've, you know, I'm still learning all the different tricks and stuff like that, but I'm, but I'm enjoying it. So you can do a lot of, you know, really cool things on it that uh, kind of gives it a benefit. Now over here, the type cover, it's an additional cost, an additional 130. It doesn't come with it. So without the type cover, when you're buying it, this is what you're getting. Now, in order to get the keyboard, you have to hit this button right here and then the keyboard pops up. Now this keyboard is pretty pretty good. Uh, it's pretty comparable to most tablets, so that is pretty cool that you can do that. Um, but when you do add the top cover, it's it is pretty good. Um, I I'm personally like it's how do I say it's it's doable, but it's not my favorite thing. Um, it does give, and over the long run, I don't know how long how long it's gonna last. So. After two or three years, I just don't know if this is going to last. So I wish they had a, another attachable cover that was you know, made of a more sturdy material than this. Um, I haven't seen too many things about this, you know, breaking or anything like that. But you guys can see it's, it's super thin. Um, the material, it's kind of a plastic with a spade in the back. And then, of course, the mechanics inside. Um, 
I just don't know how this is going to last. So when comparing the two, I'm going to have to give it to the MacBook uh, just because of the solid durability and just, just worked out. It just seems like a better quality experience. Guys, as far as web browsers, we're going to be comparing Safari on the left with the MacBook versus Microsoft Edge on the Surface. So in order to test this out, we're going to type in CNN on both. I'm going to type in CNN over here. Okay. And we're going to try to click them at the same time to give you guys kind of a comparison of the speed. So I'm going to try to do this. Hopefully it works and we'll see which one loads faster. Okay. So I'm going to get this here and get this here. Okay. On three, two, one. So, okay. Interesting. Uh, so on this one, it looks like the surface did load faster. Okay, guys, now we have ESPN pulled up on both on Google. So I'm going to attempt to click them both at the same time, and we're going to see which one loads faster. So here we go. And three, two, one. See, so yeah, it looks like, again, the surface did, well, that's interesting. So it looked like initially the surface did load faster, but that wasn't the full website. And then the full website showed up on the Mac faster. So again, um, they're both pretty comparable, they're both pretty fast. It's really going to come down a matter of preference. Um, Safari has different benefits and so does Microsoft Edge. Uh, it's really going to come down to a preference for you guys. I really can't pick a winner because they, I mean, I like them both and they both work pretty fast. So this one, I'm going to say it's pretty much a tie. Okay, now we're going to test the speaker quality. Uh, to do this, I pulled up the same video on YouTube and I have the volume turned up on max on both devices. So we're going to play one, then stop, play the other one, and then go back and forth. And we're going to see which one sounds louder. So first we're going to try the uh, Surface. This ain't really work though. This is not really work. This is my career. It's not really a job. This is my career. You know, some people have jobs, some people have... So it sounds pretty good. Now we're going to jump over to the uh, Apple. This is not really work. This is my career. It's not really a job. This is my career. You know, some people have jobs, some people have careers. Some of y'all in the audience. Some of y'all got jobs. So we're going to jump back over here. Careers. Some of y'all in the audience. Some of y'all got jobs, some of you have... Careers. Now, the people in the audience with careers need to learn to shut the fuck up when you're around people with jobs. They have careers. Now, the people they don't want to hear your career bullshit. Keep that shit to, that shut shut shit to yourself. When you're around people okay. with jobs, don't let your happiness make somebody they don't say... Hear. Okay, so as you can see, they both sound pretty good. Um, it's my opinion that the Apple might be a little louder, but as far as... I think the pro is it's right there. Uh, it might be a little quieter, but the sound is a, it seems like a better quality sound. So it seems more, I don't know, robust. It seems just better quality sound. And I've noticed that over the whole time I've been testing both of these devices that the pro has excellent sound. So if sound quality is gonna be a big factor for you guys, I'm going to give it to the pro. Guys, now after comparing these two for the last two weeks, um, it's time for a conclusion. Which one wins? That is the question that people want to know, which one wins. Now, uh, before I get to that, I just want to say that, you know, these are both great devices and they're both targeted for different people. So depending on, you know, what you need it for, you should really drive the, uh, which one you pick personally. Um, if you're looking for more, you know, artsy design, music, video editing stuff, I would definitely go with the MacBook. Uh, if you can't afford it, a more expensive one, I think the MacBook Air is a great uh, step in the MacBook line. If you're used to Windows and you prefer that and you're always on the go and you know you really don't have you know needs for hard computing purposes I would go for the Surface. Um, in my opinion they both have the same fatal flaw which is memory. Uh, it's great that they both have SSD drives but 128 gigs really isn't enough. Uh, it's super frustrating and to jump up in memory for both these devices is really really expensive and I just don't understand that, uh, given that it's 2015 and memory is pretty cheap, I think both these manufacturers are kind of doing us a disservice. 
Now you can expand the memory with an SD card on both. Uh, well, with this one's gonna be a regular SD and with this one it's gonna be a micro SD. I will say that it's probably easier to expand in the, with the micro SD because it's pretty consolidated like, you, like I showed you guys. It's right here in the back. So it's, it's pretty hidden. So you can put an, you know, 120 gig about SD card in here and no one would really know it. And you could, you know, keep it in there for the lifetime of the device. And you could store your files, your big files in there, you know, your music, your Word documents. It wouldn't be an issue. So there's an option uh, to do that. And then this one, you can put an SD card in there, but it is going to stick out a little bit. So it won't, it won't be as slick. And actually, I'll, I'll show you guys. What it looks like so if you pop in an SD card it's gonna look like this so yes you can expand memory the cheap way by doing that you're gonna to have to have this sticking out so both in my opinion both of these devices have the same fatal flaw which is super annoying but when it comes down to it for myself I would choose the MacBook Air um, it's just in my opinion it's faster and when I started this off the uh, the surface had a kind of had an advantage because I'm used to Windows. So I thought that I would have preferred the Surface, but after two weeks of using them both, I'm actually preferring the Apple. Uh, it's it's the build quality, it's the fact that it actually has a regular keyboard. Instead of this, um, if this had a something more similar to this, a better type cover, I might have went with this one, but it doesn't. Um, and that's kind of that's how I feel about it. The uh, you know, yes, this has a better screen. Yes, it has better sound. But this screen is pretty good. It's a little bit bigger. Battery life is great. Um, and I'm solely liking uh, the Apple iOS system. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if you'd like to see more great videos like this, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.